Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look at another ink. Today it's going to be Diamine Skull and Roses. Um, I was very, very excited to get my hands on this ink. It is exclusive to Germany, but my wife managed to wrangle one up for me for Christmas, and I've really, really been enjoying it. Um, if you live in Germany and you like this color, I highly recommend picking it up. If you don't live in Germany and you don't mind spending a little bit extra, this is a fantastic performing ink. We'll go over that in just a minute though. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bottle. So a fairly wide kind of uh, squat bottle with a very, very wide neck. I love these diamine bottles um, because of how easy they are to fill from. They're just, I, I've never had an issue putting any of my pens into them. Um, they may be a bit of a problem when you get down towards the bottom, but for the most part, these bottles are great. Um, pretty basic glass bottle. You can see Diamine there with their standard logo, Skull and Roses, 80 mil. And if you are curious, this is the box it comes in. So yeah, these are, um, Diamine's based in, in the UK, but they make some of the most affordable inks in, at least here in America, that I know of. Especially for the volume, because you get these 80 milliliter bottles. And I really like the performance on these inks. They they write amazingly. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the ink itself. So here's the ink swatch for Diamond Skull and Roses. You can see it is blue, but when you tilt it towards the light, you'll get that red sheen. Now it's not as powerful as some of the organic studios, and we'll compare that in just a moment. But in general, it's it's a very very nice ink. So you you do get that nice um, bright punchy blue, but you also get that red sheen as well. And it, it comes through pretty nicely in writing, I think. Let's go ahead and compare this. Um, I have a few other similar-ish colors here. First up is Colorverse number 22 Cat. You can see shade-wise it's pretty close. The Colorverse obviously shimmers, though. Then we have Pilot Oroshizuku Asagao. This is probably the closest in color to, to the base color of the Diamond Skull and Roses that I can, that I can find. Um, very, very similar shade. If you like Asagao but you want some, some red sheen to it, this is a good way to go. Diamine Misty Blue, which is a bit more widely available. It's a bit more uh, turquoise kind of uh, a color compared to this. And it has a lot less of the sheen, but it is there a little bit. And then, of course, Organic Studio Ralph Waldo Emerson Twilight Blue. Organic Studio inks sheen more than any other inks I've ever seen. Now, I have a video where that has caused some issues, but if you're looking for more sheen than ink, Organic Studio is where you want to go. Um, because the writing, if you compare it here to the Diamond Skull and Roses, unlike Diamond Skull and Roses where a good part of it is sheen, it is entirely sheen for Organic Studio. So the, the base color is very difficult to see in the writing. You're more or less getting that metallic red color. And if, if that's what you're after, you know, go for this one. But if you want a nice balance, Skull and Roses is a fantastic ink for that balance. So let's go ahead and take a look at a quick writing sample. Kind of show you what to expect with that. This may be a little difficult because of how close I am, but let's see. We have Diamine, Skull and Roses. I'm really sad this is a Germany exclusive ink. It does kind of add to the, the mystique of it for me. But I really, really like this color and I really wish they, it was more widely available and a bit easier to get my hands on. All right, so I'll you, you can kind of see there about what the writing looks like. It's again, you're getting that base blue a lot more than you are the red until you put if you have a more heavy ink flow pen, you're going to get more of the red, obviously. But if you have a finer medium nib, you're probably going to get a good balance of the two. Let's go and take a look at the dry times here. Go and do the 
three. Put down a little bit more ink on the three than I intended. Five, seven, and roughly 10. So you can see it is drying a lot more when you get towards the 10, um, but the ink itself is, is fantastic. You know, I, I really, really like the color of this. The, the shading is very nice. It's still a little bit wet, but you'll kind of see it brighten up here in just a minute. So as with most um, darker blue inks, it looks almost black when you're initially putting it down. But after it starts to dry, you can see some of that shimmer coming through and a bit more of the blue. But yeah, um, if you have a chance to pick up this ink, I highly recommend it. I absolutely love this color. And I love Diamine inks in general. They're one of my favorite brands. They're my, they're my favorite bra value brand by far. If you have any questions about this ink or any of the other inks or pens or anything like that, um, let me know in the comments. I forgot to mention the pen used in this ink review was the Conklin Word Gauge because that's a fairly uh, wet nib. So I, I figured we could get some good sheening on that. But yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. If you like what you see here, feel free to subscribe. And I also have a giveaway video that's running right now until the 18th. So feel free to go check that out. Maybe you can win yourself something. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.